Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching a Jscape MFT server tutorial. In today's video, we'll show you how to automatically delete a file on your server right after it's been downloaded. Sometimes, for security reasons or simply just to save disk space, we want certain files to be automatically deleted from the server as soon as it has already been downloaded by its intended recipient. Today, you'll learn how to do that on Jscape MFT server. This particular auto-deletion process entails creating a trigger that 1. responds to a file download event, that is to say it fires as soon as a file has been downloaded from the server, and 2. executes the delete file trigger action, which performs the actual file deletion process. Let's walk you through those steps now. First, let's create a new trigger. To do that, go to the Triggers module and then click the Add button. Next, give the trigger a name, for example, Delete Downloaded File. After that, select the File Download Event Type from the drop-down list. Click Next when you're done. If you simply want the trigger to affect any downloaded file, just enter this expression into the Trigger Conditions box. This tells the trigger to proceed only if the download was successful. In some cases, however, you might want to restrict the automatic file deletion process to certain downloads. For example, you might want it to apply only to certain files, or to files downloaded by a certain user, or only during certain times. In such cases, you can specify your conditions by entering additional logical expressions into the trigger conditions box. You can view additional properties pertinent to this particular trigger event whose values you can use for filtering by clicking on the Variables button. Here are a few additional trigger conditions you can use. For example, you can use this expression to restrict the auto-deletion to JPEG files. Here's another expression to restrict the auto-deletion to files downloaded by a user whose username is John Smith. And here's another one to restrict the auto-deletion to files downloaded during Mondays. You can even use a combination of these conditions to filter the trigger even further. Click Next as soon as you're ready to proceed. Click the Add button to add a trigger action. The trigger action we'll be needing for this particular scenario is the one named Delete File. Select that from the drop-down list and then click OK. Because we want this to apply to the file that's been recently downloaded, enter the variable local path into the box labeled file. The local path variable holds the complete path of the file that was recently downloaded. Click OK when you're done. You can then click OK till you're back at the main screen to finalize the trigger creation process. And you're done. Every time a user downloads a file from your server, that file will be automatically deleted. 